Hi everyone, welcome to Recipe Costing. This is Robert. And if you already watched the first video on how to set up your food order guide, then you're ready to set up your vendors and your vendor items. So let's begin with vendors. Now setting up a vendor is really easy. We're going to hit the add button and we'll call this vendor, vendor A. If you have a credit limit with this vendor, you may want to put it in here. And if you have a minimum purchase, you'll want to do that as well. And then you can fill out all the address and other information for this vendor. When you're done, all you have to do is click the save button. And that's it. The vendor is entered. Now, we have to enter all the items that we're buying from this vendor. And this is why the food order guide is so important. So I'm going to go to the vendor items. And from the drop down list, what I want to do is I want to select this new vendor I added, vendor A. Notice that all the food items in my food order guide are now displayed in this data grid. Now I can select and choose the items that I'm buying from this vendor. I may not buy all the vendor items, but I can pick the ones that I am buying and then I can enter the data or the information. So let's take a look at one I already did to save us some time here. Let's go to Cisco. Cisco has the same exact vendor item list that it's using, but I don't buy everything from Cisco. I do buy the asparagus in a case. I buy one package of 20 pounds and the software will calculate it in ounces because the food order guide is telling it to calculate it in ounces. Now let's say we have a yield. Let's say that although I buy this asparagus, I may have to trim it. And when I'm done trimming it, I trim about 95, I have 95% 95 left. Notice that my cost just went up. 0.181. So as I enter item from Cisco, I put in the vendor item, how I purchase it, the total packages, the weight in those packages, the software will calculate the rest, my price, and then after yield, I can do that as well. So if there's a 95% yield, 5% goes to waste, 95% is what I use, then my portioning cost will go up. Now, my software knows I use it in ounces because the food order guy told it that's how I use it is in ounces. However, when I do the inventory, I do it in pounds. Let's take a look at another vendor. So let's say it's U.S. Foods. You notice that I buy certain items from U.S. Foods. Now, anytime I decide to add one of these new items that I want to buy from them, all I have to do is check it off, enter the vendor information, and I'm done, and I can save it. This becomes important when you create purchase orders. And in one of the videos, the purchase order video, you'll take a look and see how this works and why this is important because we start doing price comparisons. I look forward to seeing you in our next video with purchase orders. Thanks.